So you're the one running about tripping my alarms, hmm? Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna teach you how to solo and I guess a few tips on how to duo or squad fight the Duke. All in all, he's a really simple boss and honestly you will not struggle with him. Tip, do not let anybody ever tell you that this guy is a hard boss because I tell you right now, he is not. All you gotta do is, all you gotta do is know what to do. And it's not hard to know what to do, so I'm gonna teach you how to do it. To begin with, fighting the Duke it isn't necessarily a straightforward fight like you might expect. There are a couple of steps you need to take before you actually get into a battle with the Duke. So to begin our journey to the Duke, you're going to want to spawn or make your way over to Etrus. Inside Etrus, you're just going to want to follow this path I'm taking. It'll take you to a man that you need to speak to who will ask you about taking a quest. It's not, I'm not going to lie, I didn't know this the hell you were saying just spam one when you talk to him so after you speak to that guy in the hat that kind of looked like heisenberg not gonna lie you're gonna want to make your way which isn't a far like it's only right in front of us uh the bookstore and then you're gonna want to speak to this guy but you actually want to speak to him twice and then ask him and just spam one again i'm not gonna lie not listening to what the hell he's saying he's saying something about a book and the old world and etrian politics literally stuff that i could not care less about politics <laughs> So now, what you want to do is you actually want to make your way out of the main Etrus town and you're going to want to make your way over to the, to the uh, Neve camp, you know, the fist people, the grey moors. And then you want to slightly just climb up, like a little bit to the left, and then just follow where I go. There'll be this guy just sitting there, you're going to want to talk to him, he'll say you have an audience with the Lord some rubric cube whatever you have an audience and yeah we just keep saying that and then now what you actually want to go do is you want to head back into Etrus and we're going to head up to the lord rubik's cube whatever the hell their name is the lord's uh little castle thing it's very easy to see if you just look up uh, and then you want to make your way over so anyway you want to speak to this chick she's uh very powerful do not fuck with her she will kill you very very fast point is, you want to talk to her, she's going to give you a key. She wants you to go kill the Duke. Alexandria. So like the woman said, the Duke is in Eresia. Now I'm going to keep it so real with you, I am not going to teach you how to get there. You want to get the church, because it, let's be honest, if you don't know how to get to the church, just search up the tutorial. This isn't a tutorial on how to get to Aerosol's church, it's a tutorial on how to fight the Duke. But what I am going to teach you is how you can get up into the golem area from the church by yourself, because it's kind of hard. Basically, what I'm doing here in this clip is I'm just taking barrels from the church and stacking them up on top of each other so that I can climb from there. It is a kind of a tedious process and it's a little bit annoying to do. Eventually, you're going to get the hang of it. You might, you kind of want to follow what I do. I sort of like jump and as my character is coming down, I will place the barrel as I'm coming past the top barrel. And that's basically what you want to do every time or place it on top. I think maybe like five or six barrels stacked on top of each other with enough agility, you will have like you'll be able to climb up so now you just want to make your way past all these golems just ignore them the big door that actually will take you to the duke's manor is likely going to be closed if it's not go ahead and walk through but i'm going to show you how to open the door if it is closed so what you're going to want to do is you want to follow where i go in this clip and you're going to want to go down this hole now i'm not going to bother explaining where to go just follow this clip you effectively want to take a first right and then after that you want to go straight and left straight and left straight and left Eventually you're going to end up here, you see this button on the wall, you're going to want to interact with the button and now the door will be open. Now retrace your steps, you know, go back, go right, go straight, go right, go straight, go right, go straight, go right, go straight, go left, you know, stuff like that. You want to do that and then you'll come back up and the door will be open. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go obviously down and then you're going to want to go up to this gate and interact with the gate whilst holding the key. The door will open. And when you're inside, you're going to be met with two brain suckers and a lot of Duke Aresia's goons. Now, these goons fight, I think, identical to Mudskippers. And we all know what Mudskippers are like. Literally the most painful thing in the game to fight. If, like, three of these guys get on you at one time, it's hard. If, like, eight of them get on you, just, just press it. Anyways, once you deal with that plethora of unnecessary goons, you're going to be met with like an elevator similar to the one in the depths. You're going to want to interact with the lever and just send yourself down. Just a fun fact for anyone that is doing this with a friend. 
when you're on the lever, when you interact with the lever, you're gonna wanna pull it whilst your friend is standing on the elevator, and then you'll both get sent down. That one golem will spawn facing you, and one golem will spawn facing the door. This is perfect. If this happens, it is actually perfect. However, <laughs> the alternative is that if both golems are facing you, say your prayers. Literally, just say your prayers. Unless you can deal with two consecutive golems at the same time, props to you. But if both of them are facing you, you can go ahead and initiate a fight. It's going to be really tough, though. What you want to do is basically when one is facing you and one is facing the door, you want to isolate the one that is facing you. There'll be a couple of goons. Just take them out. You want to fight him like a regular golem because he pretty much is. Apart from the laser beam attack, the only thing that is different is that they can fire. They they will fire consecutive laser beams instead of one laser beam, which is really not that much of an issue. You can let them hit you, and it won't make a difference. You, they don't do that much damage. Then this part is actually very important because this was the diff. This was the like probably one of the biggest differences that I realized in me actually beating the duke and me failing on my way to the duke is that you just want to. As soon as this door opens after you kill the two golems, you just want to run past everything. If you are low for some reason, I guess you could kill a brain sucker for a health pack. But my, what bugs, what like usually works best for me is just to sprint past everything, and then you want to run around, swing a right, go up the stairs, and then you, there'll be this long hallway that you gotta run through. And if you are with someone, another fact. You want to have them close by you when you are running through this hallway because the, there will be an invisible force field that will shut off and it will separate you and your friend from the duke and the golems. So you want to be close by each other. Now, you have officially made it to the duke. Now, this, I'm going to be honest, this part right here, the journey is literally harder than the duke. Do not let anybody ever tell you that duke is hard because duke is not hard. A few fun facts about the duke. He will have a shield surrounding him for about, like, I don't know how much health the shield has, but he will have a shield. You just want to keep smacking that shield, keep doing posture damage to him, right? And then once that shield is broken, he'll be vulnerable and able to be attacked. Another fact, the Duke has 15,000 HP for every player that is there. So, if you and one friend go, the Duke is going to have 30,000 HP. If you and two other friends go, which makes three people, the duke is going to have 45,000 HP. This is why actually, like golf, the lower the better. If you are solo, obviously it's going to be, you know, a lot quicker of a fight than it is with your friend. Now, let's actually get into fighting the duke, because this is the fun part. So with duke, he has what I like to call his initial attacks. And his initial attacks consist of a strong left, a sort of like javelin-ish move, a like floor stomp and I think that's it attack number one the floor stomp it is not parryable not blockable you want to dodge the floor stomp his second attack is a javelin he will fly up in the air and then throw a javelin down to the ground you can parry it it's very simple to parry, very straightforward. Same thing with the strong left. The strong left is also very easy to parry. You're going to want to parry his strong left too. So there's actually another attack that I didn't mention in the video, which was the hamster ball. I'm adding this in after editing. His hamster ball attack, effectively, he'll do after an interval or just randomly. It's unpredictable. His attack is effectively, he'll fly up in the air like the grand javelin attack, and then he will throw a ring or a ball around you that surrounds you in gale breath if you get caught by this ball there is nothing you can do he'll hit you twice it'll do about i want to say depending on your fortitude around 20 percent ish damage so it's best if you don't get hit by this but it's a it's a very hard attack to dodge so i don't blame you if you do get hit by this i personally myself don't know how to dodge it at all but my friend says that if he there's a certain point where you have to dodge and cancel the dodge and apparently that works i can't do it personally but this uh, this attack is not parable it's not blockable but you can dodge it it is extremely hard to those are his initial attacks as soon as he hits you with initial attack you want to parry his initial attack hit once immediately parry hit once parry literally click f click f click f that's all you want to do click f click f click f 
You want to keep doing that, and it's going to keep powering attacks. You're going to do posture damage. You're going to keep hitting him. You're going to do all this stuff. Now, you're going to want to keep doing that. He will have a short period where he will just stand there and look at you. Do not get cocky with the Duke because he will get you in like a rhythmic rhythmic motion where he will keep attacking you and you will be unable to parry. So you do not get cocky, go for simple and small amount of hits and you should be fine. Now what you want to do is you just want to keep repeating what I'm doing, you know, just keep parrying, hitting, parrying, hitting, parrying, hitting. In this clip you can actually see I get a little bit low but once this duke's shield is down you can just wail on him like honestly you can just go crazy just do whatever you want keep hitting him if he blocks your shot if he parries your shot hit him with a heavy attack break his block and then you want to keep going and going and going eventually when the duke is hit enough he will spawn his first wave of goons he will spawn three goons on you you can take them out really easily as long as you can parry them these are essentially free health packs and these actually saved me in the clip as you can see they actually just gave me the strength I needed to keep fighting the Duke. Now, he is gonna keep doing this. You are gonna get him even lower and lower. You're just gonna keep wailing on him. Trust me, just keep just spam hit him. Just bully him. Just completely eviscerate this guy. You just wanna keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. And then eventually, he's gonna spawn his second wave. Same thing. Kill them. Keep wailing, 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 wailing. Just keep hitting, 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 hitting. You can see me in this clip. This guy has no chance against me. He might hit me like once or twice, but then I just go straight back to killing. He's then gonna spawn his final wave of goons. And then after that, it is just you and the Duke one on one. I don't know why, but I only just noticed this in post editing. I'm gonna be honest, in this clip here, I have no idea what this attack is. I've actually never seen it before, but luckily it took out the goons for me. If he does this, I'm gonna, I don't know what to do against it, but uh, watch out for this attack. Sometimes it can work in your favor like it did in mine. So uh, yeah, be wary. And at this point, you got it. Like, honestly, it's so easy from this point on. And then boom, that's how you kill the Duke. The Duke is so incredibly simple. It is actually mind-blowing that fear plays such a big factor in a fight like this because people are just scared of the Duke. He is this easy to kill. So easy to kill. He is a great way to farm enchants. He's a great way to farm notes. You can just take all the stuff from his loot and sell it. He also gives these really cool rings which do cool effects and stuff. The Duke is overall just a really good farming boss. You can just do him consecutively and consecutively and consecutively over and over again. And the great thing about him is that when you kill the Duke, you're going to spawn back in his elevator and you can go straight back outside the manor and come straight back inside and then all the enemies will spawn again you're just going to do the whole process again and keep killing him and killing him and killing him. He is so simple to fight. I hope this helped at least someone because I definitely would have needed this tutorial when I first fought Duke. Listen, we died on our first time, we died on our second time and we even died like on our like our fourth time we killed him on our third time and then we died again like another time like literally it's gonna take less than five attempts you are gonna get one of those attempts where you kill him after that you will not be able to die against this guy this was actually my first time soloing him and i was a little bit nervous but obviously as you see i pulled through by the skin of my teeth and now i'm even more confident than ever that i could definitely take this guy uh that's it though that is literally just dude